Hey everyone, it's Tyler the Antenna Man with an update on the 87.7 Franken FM radio stations. These radio stations are technically low powered analog TV stations that must convert to digital by 13th of July, which is coming up pretty soon. Normally, this would mean the end of their analog audio carrier on 87.75 MHz that can be picked up by most FM radios, but there seems to be a saving grace. If you're seeing me for the first time, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that little bell icon to receive a notification whenever I post a new video. Some of you may be wondering why radio stations on 87.7 FM are called Franken FMs. As I mentioned a few moments ago, they technically are not radio stations, but rather low power TV stations operating on channel six. You see, on an analog broadcast, the audio carrier for channel 6 is 87.75 MHz, which can be picked up by most radios on 87.7 FM. This is why some of you may remember being able to pick up your local channel 6 on the radio prior to the digital transition of 2009. Low power TV stations were originally supposed to convert to digital back in 2015, but that deadline was pushed back several times due to the huge mess the FCC repack created for broadcasters. As a result, some low power TV stations continue to broadcast in analog. I found a few of them in upstate New York, which you can see in my video titled Analog TV Stations Still on the Air in 2021. I attached a link in the description of this video. Many low power TV stations operating on channel six took advantage of their situation to launch a radio format since radios could pick up the audio on 87.7 FM, hence the term Franken FM. There are dozens of them currently on the air, most with ethnic and niche formats. A few examples of some popular 87.7 FM radio stations include MeTV FM in Chicago, Guadalupe Radio in Los Angeles, and La Nueva in DC. In a previous video of mine, I talked about how some stations were looking for a solution with the FCC to convert to digital while keeping their analog audio signal on the air so it could still be picked up by FM radios. This solution seems to have been given a green light despite major opposition from NPR. According to various news reports, the FCC recently granted a six month special temporary authority to KBFKLD in San Jose to continue broadcasting the analog signal on 87.75 megahertz alongside their new ATSC 3.0 digital signal. With this STA comes several conditions. These conditions were listed on radioinsight.com, so I give them complete credit for the information you are about to hear. You can find the full article attached in the description of this video. Please be sure to bookmark their website as well since it has very excellent news articles related to radio. According to the radioinsight.com article, here are some of the conditions of the STA given to KBKFLD owner Venture Technologies Group. The TV station must have a real synchronized audio and video signal on their next gen signal, not just color bars or a bulletin board. Both the digital next gen and analog audio signal must reach the same area. No more cranking a ton of power into the analog audio signal and the bare minimum on the video signal. Venture Technologies Group must give the FCC a report after three and six months detailing any potential interference to other stations or video coverage limitations from both the next gen and analog audio signal operating on the same RF channel. The station cannot be sold during the STA, so no plain hot potato with the license. If there are any interference complaints against the station, the STA may end. So I just said a lot of technical stuff some of you may not understand. To simplify it, Venture Technologies Group's KBKF-LD in San Jose was approved by the FCC to continue their analog audio signal on 87.75 MHz while converting to a digital signal. They will be watched closely, and if any red flags come up, it's likely the nail in the coffin for Franken FM radio stations. At the time this video was made, it's unknown if this type of STA was approved for any other low power TV station operating as a radio station on analog channel 6. I'm thinking that some Franken FMs will go dark as they wait for the results of the study. If any did not file the right documents, hoping that the FCC would maybe extend the deadline again of the analog shutdown, they risk having their license canceled. Some of you may wonder what the fate is for the very popular Me TV FM in Chicago, which I highly recommend listening to. I attached a link to their stream in the description. Chances are they will stay on the air past the July 13th deadline. Venture Media Group's CEO claims that the station is in the process of converting WRMELP, or 
Me TV FM Chicago, it's the same setup as the San Jose station. You can read more details about this in a post made by Chicago-based media blogger Robert Feeder, attached in the description of this video. Thanks to Radiosurvivor.com for letting me use this cool graphic in my video. Thanks to Lance from RadioInsight.com for the very well-written article on this topic, and thank you for watching this video. Additional thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or is a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos have helped you cut the cord or if you just think they're cool and would like to help support them while gaining exclusive perks such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, and direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button in this video. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates on when I post new videos, Feel free to sign up to my email list. I attach a link in the description of this video. There are a lot of links attached in the description, so make sure you check them out.